So. Hey, everybody. This is the Backstage Boys podcast. I'm here with Trent and uh, a little bit different. No, we normally don't do a casual intro like this, but with everything that's going on, everybody being quarantined, hopefully everyone is safe, um, practicing safe techniques, being at home, only going out when you need to. We figure um, we always like to give you guys backstage feel of what's going on and everything right now. And we actually are bringing on AAW's co-owner, Mike Pekovich, to discuss the effects of what this has had on AAW and the indie, indie wrestling industry as a whole and what plans that he has to go forward with this to kind of have a positive come out of all this negative right now. So, Trent, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, Basil. I'm doing good. We're episode 64 here, and we're joined by Mike Petkovich. We normally don't have guests on, Mike, but uh, say hello to the people. What's going on, guys? How are you? Good, good, man. Good. We're, so... As Basil mentioned, guys, you know, things are going on. The coronavirus, uh, COVID-19, it's kind of a serious thing. It's, it's hit our industry pretty intensely, as you as everyone's seen. The wrestling business has been turned upside down. Show cancellations, you know, a lot of people go show to show. And a lot of things months out have been already been canceled. So it's a bit of a rocky time. And as Basil said, you know, we like to kind of bring you behind the scenes. So we got Mike here just to talk about the effects of what's happening, especially at AAW, which is our, you know, this is our home here and and. What, how we're feeling it, what we're doing to combat it, what we're thinking uh, for the future, what we're trying to do to keep positive through the whole thing. So, Mike, I know we uh, it's been a rough couple of days, man. It's been a rough, uh, rough go lately. How you doing? Yeah, my, my head's been spinning lately, man. Trying to uh, keep the ideas ahead of where everything's going and trying to do whatever damage control there is to do even though it actually has been not that bad everyone's been super understanding yeah um, from the fans to the talent to the buildings to you name it it has it really hasn't been bad as far as that goes i've been like waiting for emails to come in and just waiting for something bad in it it really hasn't happened so um yeah we're just kind of dealing with this a day at a time and i think that's how everybody in, on the planet's dealing with it one day at a time and uh I don't, I, we're no different than anyone else just kind of kind of doing what we can to get through it uh it sucks when your uh creative juices get stifled by something out of your control yeah you know we were looking forward to friday a lot and uh you know it just uh it just hurts to uh, not be able to put on a show in front of the fans it's uh it's a it's a weird time, man. It's weird watching, seeing the footage come in from Raw and SmackDown, and nobody in a in an arena. I can only imagine what it's going to be like for Mania. Um, mm-hmm. it, it's it's just weird. It's just a weird time, and it sucks that a lot of talents sitting at home without money coming in because of it. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's it's odd, man. I mean, even when the biggest dog in the yard is getting hit like this to the point where they're not having an audience, um. You know, who's nobody's safe at that point, you know, like right. that shows you nobody, nobody can avoid this. Right. It's no, gonna, you can't. It's going to be so surreal just to see mania without a crowd, because, I mean, such a large aspect of our business is the crowd interaction. Mm-hmm. Right. What hurts us the most is like this was our anniversary show. Epic is was our 16th anniversary, um, you know, and that's it's a special show for us. Our two biggest, most special shows of the year. I would say are are always kind of sandwiched at the, at the almost like spring equinox, you know, it's like epic and then winter solstice. We've kind of sandwiched it all in between uh, the Windy City Classic. So this one, this was our our big one, man. It's the one that starts the year off real big, or actually, I should, I should say, kind of kind of sets the tone as we head into this, you know, further into the year. But man, it it does hurt. But Mike, on that note, I want to ask you, in a case like this, I know it's so early to tell, uh, but in, in a situation like this, do we do you, is the first thought in your mind, do we push Epic itself, the actual titled show Epic, out? Does that kind of take the place of the next one we're able to do and just kind of no, knock them all down? I don't, I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, if we could take the same card and, and move it to the next date, I, yeah. You know, yeah, but we also already have commitments to talent for the next date. Mm-hmm. But the next date is every day getting – is it ticks another day closer – without knowing if we can even have that event based on where we're at. So, yeah. you know, that's why we haven't released, you know, I've sent off for 
graphics for it. I haven't got, you know, I haven't submitted payment yet because everything just went on hold. You know, yeah. it's just like, you know, we know who's going to be there. We know we're at Bourbon Street, but we also don't know now if we can even do that one because it's in April. And then we and then we already have commitments to talent for May and LaSalle. Mm -hmm. And that one is still questionable because from some of the cutoffs people are talking about. You know, the longer this goes, it's just like that domino effect. It's one show after another. And that's why I, I don't even want to speculate on where it goes beyond tomorrow. You know, because something, yeah. you know, somebody could come on TV and declare something from and, and everything changes now going forward the next day. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what what I'm looking at right now is to get to next Saturday and 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 make our plan because everything, accord, you know, that we've done so far has already, you know, we've hit the brakes. Mm -hmm. And um, so speculating April and into May and so forth, I don't know. I it's It's hard to say. And I think everyone's in the same spot. I don't think anybody knows other than what they're being told. And when sanctions start getting lifted off of stuff and, or who knows, maybe more sanctions get put on things and yeah. you just, you just don't know. So, you know, we're going to do our best to keep putting content out there. Um, and right now it's great because we're, we're using old content that maybe people have slept on or, I've never seen or or whatever and and people are talking about it but you know we want to also create f figure out a way to create some kind of new content mm -hmm. in the process and just to keep the fans interactive to keep the fans you know if they can put on an a an old aw show from three years ago or five years ago or ten years ago and be entertained for a couple of hours and forget about stuff that's stressing them out i mean that's the whole point of it pro wrestling and what we do at AEW anyways is to give people that mental break of real life for a few hours. So if we can still do that in the process, I think, I think we'll, you know, we're succeeding if we're, if people are still watching. Yeah, definitely. I think it's, it's been pretty successful with the old shows we put up so far. Uh, Basil, you want to talk about the timeline a little bit, right? You want to just kind of, kind of lay out what we know and then Mike can, can kind of clean, you know, add his details and, and you know, to each each little bullet point or each little marker there. Yeah. So all I mean, everything really started taking an effect. I would say two to three weeks ago, um, when the spread started actually happening, coming to America, and then we just start seeing show cancellations uh, that were towards the end of March, and the big hang up obviously was was Mania weekend. Uh, that everybody was on, but all the shows around it, and then sporting events such as the NBA, they suspended first, I believe, um, because they had two players that tested positive. Then a couple days later, MLB and the NHL suspend at the same time. So everyone's just, after those, I think those really hit. Then we started seeing certain celebrities such as Tom Hanks, and then uh, Canada's prime minister's wife got um, tested positive. So it was just a big old snowball effect that kind of happened. And then we started seeing indie shows that were supposed to be taking place this past weekend and next weekend all coming down and canceling. And then kind of like the quarantine itself, the mandated quarantine of businesses closing and shortened hours started all happening with that as well. Yeah. I think I think initially, Mike, uh, you could talk on this. We, when cer certain companies started canceling, but we still had clearance on our end because Illinois was still letting us go at two hundred fifty people. Right. So like right. so like last Wednesday, you you know we had the booking meeting. Obviously, I you know I I did miss that, but and you guys sat down and put the show together. Mm -hmm. Last last Wednesday, um, and it was a week early from where we normally sit down and and work on the show. Right. And then, uh, so, I mean, at, at, at Wednesday, everything was fine. Yeah. Um, then you get to the end of the week, uh, come Friday is, I think it was Thursday or Friday when the NBA shut down and then pro, the rest of the pro sports followed. And Danny had messaged me and, and he's like, we should cancel. I'm like, well, that's great, but there's no restriction on the amount of people in the venue yet. So I really don't want to. Yeah. Um, I, because I didn't think it was right for the fans that has, that had spent the money it wasn't right for the talent that's coming in. You know, 
they're going to lose pay. I, I, I we, you know, we've been doing this, Danny and I have been doing this together for 15 years. You know, the first year of the company, we, you know, he didn't take over booking until the middle of 2005. I didn't come into the company until the fall of 2005. Mm. And then everything, you know, and then it all kind of worked its way out the next few years on, on, on how we work together, but we've, we've never canceled a show. And, never, and it's never it's once, like, huh? No, well, there was a show that was booked in South Bend back in the day with a co promoter who ended up um, screwing over, well, me and Danny and all the talent, but Danny gotcha. and Danny still paid all of the talent. So we lost oh, the wow. show, but the talent still got paid. Oh. Um, mm, I never knew about that one. Yeah, it, it happened once. It wasn't out, it was not our decision though. So, gotcha. so out of all the shows we've, we've ran together, there's never been a show where like, we're canceling this one. Screw that. So it, it's foreign territory for us to actually make a decision to cancel a show. And I'm still upset that we can't run the show Friday and I, but I get it. I'm not, you know, it's not about safety of others or whatever. I, I get it. I'm fully on board with that. It's just hard for us to say show canceled. Right. Um, because that's not what we've done for 15 years working together. Um, you know, so we get to the point where now Logan Square, you know, we're down to 250 people max. Mm -hmm. And Danny's like, ah, we should cancel. I'm like, I don't think we should cancel. You know, we might lose a little money at the gate. We don't have to tap into what little reserves we have left to pay everyone. But I had already purchased all of the live streaming equipment. I'm like, well, we have the equipment. It just needs to be put together. Uh, I'll get with Rob. Rob will, and, and Rob Saturday starts putting, you know, the finishing touches. Hey, I need this. I need this. So I'm online ordering stuff, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's the, you know, the program and, and a couple other pieces. Uh, he helped. Uh, he ordered a few things. I ordered a few things. And we'll be fine on Friday. We're going to do a live demo of our equipment for free. It probably was going to be on Twitch. Mm -hmm. And 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 we were gonna announce that like maybe two days before the show, just in case if there was some kind of hang up. But we were gonna get we were basically at 250 people in the crowd. We were gonna give this show now away for free, right? In the hopes that people watching on Twitch will subscribe and and send money to help us pay the for the talent. And that was right. the original thought process. Um, when the attendance of the venue then got put down to 100 i mean that's a no-go i mean mathematic yeah. mathematically we would hit the self-destruct button on aaw if we were to run that show and try to pay everybody we would financially we would have never recovered uh, um the money right i mean despite being one of the bigger indies in the country i mean pockets only go so deep yeah um you know we have you know we are a true independent company we've done everything ever on our own uh, you know, the money that comes in has always been reinvested right back into the company. You know, we've said this for years, but it is the God's honest truth. Danny and I have never taken a dime from AAW. It's been put right back into the company for new equipment, new gear, whatever. Whatever we got to do to take AAW to the next step. Um, it, it's a pure passion project for us. Um, but we knew that if we were going to run it with 100 people, you know, that's that's self destruction right there. Um, yeah. So we we were forced to cancel that you know on sun on Sunday, and and that and that sucked sending out uh, the tweets and stuff like that, um, knowing that you're gonna affect the talent's income now. Yeah. And you're gonna affect um, you know the fans that have bought you know they've made travel arrangements to come to the show or they've or what you know or whatever. Um, yeah, it sucks at that point, uh, but the, but it was completely out of our hands the minute it went down to 100 people. And then, of course, now it's down to even way less than that. Um, oh yeah, I think they're at 50 now. I think, I think it's at 10 actually. It's, at, 10. it's actually supposed to be 10. Um, Jesus. And it's going to be yeah. It's it's just weird. But what sucks is that you have all these people now that are legitimately unable to bring in an income. And a lot of these, you know, these guys are independent contractors. Yeah. Most of them aren't signed to f exclusive deals. 
Um, so they got to they still got to hustle to make their money, and and, and it sucks overall for them. Uh, you know, where you know Danny and I, we both work full time jobs on top of this. So you know, AEW could essentially shut down for however long it needs to, and we can just come right back. Right. But it sucks for the talent and anyone else because that's who's going to hurt for this. Mm-hmm. You know, and and that's. And that sucks. And that's we don't want to be the company that just shuts down, weather the storm, and then come back like nothing ever happened. We don't want to be that company. Mm. That's not that's not right. And uh, I mean, truth be to... told, we t- we tried everything. At that point, what you laid out, we we exhausted every option. We went to the right. limit. We were trying to go within the confines of the state and um, and the venue was given us. You know, we were we were trying to do whatever we could. Up to up to the final hour, right? I mean, that's there's only so much right. we can do, right? So in 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 the middle of that, as as we're Danny and I were discussing, go on with the show and go on, you know, the minute we said, well, two fifty is fine. We got it, you know, Danny's buying plane tickets, yeah, which are now we're going to get a credit on, but we're not going to get that physical money back, right? So who knows when we can use the actual money we spent on plane tickets? You know, if we're not having shows and not flying people in. We just got a credit sitting there, Mm -hmm. but we don't actually have that physical money. So, so, you know, the fans have been awesome though, because a lot of them, you know, are transferring their tickets over to the May show. The ones, there's a handful, a good portion of them that said, you know what, just keep the ticket money, use it to towards expenses. Awesome. Which is amazing. Which is, which is, which is is absolutely amazing. I've been looking, I've been waiting for my inbox to blow up saying, where's my money? Where's my money? Where's my money? And so I, I sent out an email the other day, you know, if you want a refund, just, just send us an email. So I started getting a few in and I go to ticket leap to hit the refund on their ticket purchase and the refund button's gone on ticket leap. Oh. So now, so now I physically can't refund tickets through ticket leap because can you imagine the hit they're going to take with all the events canceled? And all the credit card fees and processing fees to refund tickets. Oh wow! So I, I, don't, I that, don't think that's right on them, though. That, yeah, but I understand it. But we have the money from them. We got paid from Ticket Leap, so now I'm, we're in the process of transferring funds to our PayPal, and we'll pay we'll refund the money through PayPal instead of through Ticket Leap. I mm-hmm. get it. Their credit card expenses is a huge cost to doing business, especially for a company like Ticket Leap. They're based on credit card transactions. That's their business. Yeah. So I understand it. It's fine. It, it, they're protecting themselves. I get it. I'm not mad at Ticket Leap. It just makes me take one step further of doing the refunds efficiently. Um, True. And, and thank God there there actually haven't been a lot of them. And and that's that's awesome on the fans' part for carrying tickets over to the May event and for just or just saying you know, just take the money and use it however you need to to pay talent and whatever. And it's awesome. Amazing. That's great. It's it's a testament to this fan base though. I mean, you well, know, it, it, it's the community of it, man. Yeah. You know, and that's and, and it's awesome. It's just the, the community as a whole has turned into this own like living creature of the last five or six years in Chicago. You, you know, when when we started doing this, the, you know, there was a fan base, but it's not like it is now. Like it became a rabid fan base these last five, six years. Um and it turns over every five, six years with new fans. And, and it's it's kind of crazy how supportive it's become. And then, you know, in, you know, 2005, 2006, I mean, it was the same guys working every show in the area. The only thing that changed on the door were the letters. So you only got the same certain amount of fans. Now it's expanded into this big, big thing across all of Chicagoland where all the different companies have their individual fan bases. But there's a section of them that cross over to every show. And mm-hmm. it's everyone everyone were you know in times of need have been awesome so i this is really showing how how good the community as a whole is it's 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 quite amazing actually yeah it's pretty cool basil you're pretty connected on with the other companies you know more than you know say you know i am uh and what's what you're you're probably seeing this a lot and everybody know there's like all the quote unquote fan feuds between companies has even dropped right like nobody's even like trying to be against one another at this point they're all just kind of we're all one big wrestling community, right? Is that you seen that vibe? Yeah, everybody. I mean, honestly, any BS aside needs to be yeah. is already put away. Like nobody's caring about that stuff right now. Everybody's just trying to figure out how to deliver the how to deliver entertainment for the fans. So yeah. 
I mean, we've seen freelance and black label to have their own things going on right now. Um, IWTV is doing, is putting up shows. AAW is putting up a bunch of shows, um, that we've seen on our YouTube, just something, uh, to give content to fans right. that we, a lot of people. Free- Free one month trial on the on demand going right yeah. now. We're getting, you know, we're essentially giving that away for a month. Promo code AAW family with that. Um, you know, it, but it, it it's you know like you're saying about you know beefs and BS aside. I mean, they're really on the on the on the back end of the deal. There really isn't anything major. I think a lot of it's just people want to see the company's feud more than anything. Oh in yeah. Storyline way, and so it creates this sense of oh these guys hate it. Well, no, we, it's just we got three different ways of doing business around Chicago, and there's no right or wrong way of doing it yeah it's just that you know it becomes this thing that oh aw versus this company and this company versus that company and at the end of the day we we don't care we just want to entertain the fans that's the ultimate goal of that should be the ultimate goal of any company and right now we need to entertain the fans that are stuck at home worrying about what's next and that's all that matters to us and 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 if and if there's any ulterior motives to that I, i want people to know there is not this is about entertaining the fans and pushing pro wrestling forward as a whole, because you could we could be done right now if we don't figure out a way to entertain people. And, I, and I don't want that. We've worked too hard in the Chicagoland area to make pro wrestling special, to just sit back and do nothing. I don't want to do nothing. I want to do something. I want to be proactive. I don't want to be reactive. And that's and, I- and that's the goal here. I got to say, Mike, in, in true leadership, then this, this is no BS. I mean, the way you jumped in into just, you know, let's let's move forward mode. Like you did not really you weren't crying about it. You were immediately the second all this came down, your your mind was moving with ideas and how we can make the best of it. And came with the promo code for the, you know, for the 30 days for the on demand, you know, other show alternatives, whatever. Uh, but you, man, I got to give it to you, dude. You went into complete like, hey, let's. We're not sitting. We got to keep moving, and we got everybody's mind. I mean, you kept this all positive, man. I got to say, you really did an amazing job. It was, it's it's a, such a testament to your leadership that you kept everybody engaged in in thinking ahead rather than dwelling on what's going on. Well, if you dwell on what's going on, it's just going to make you regress from where you want to be. You yeah. know, every time you're faced with adversity, if you don't push through it. You're never going to get to the other side of it. It's just going to compile on itself, and it's just going to—it's going to be turned into a light, you know, this thing of its own that it's going to mentally wreck you. I don't like just sitting around and complaining about stuff. Uh, I just want to—I just want to move forward. I, I hate complacency. I hate, you know, I hate having roadblocks in the way. But there's always a roadblock in the way. But every time you—you've you've seen a roadblock in AEW's way, we've always pushed past it. Because you have to. It, otherwise, otherwise, why why keep doing this? Um, it, it's it's the right thing to do to find an alternative way to entertain the fans. And there's so many pro wrestling fans out there that are, uh, you know, they've been jaded and disappointed for years. And I don't think that will ever go away. But if 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 we can find one, even even one fan, let alone five, twenty, fifty, a hundred people to say, hey, that's a really good show. I'm into AAW. I'm going to check more stuff out, and it occupies their mind and time while they're sitting at home doing nothing or instead of just worrying about stuff they can be entertained i mean that's what it's for and i yeah i also think that having something to look forward to is going to help out a lot of the fans and i think the companies like AEW that are being proactive the fans will remember that and it's going to just it's just going to create more of a of a caring vibe with within everybody who's involved, from fans to to talent to staff, and the ones who are being proactive, just trying to, like you said, keep everyone's mind off of all the negativity and give something for people to be excited to. Because it's just been a lot of disappointment with all the cancellations. So if we can replace some of that with the excitement, I think it'll go a long way beyond just this little short period of time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, just pushing through this and and just coming up with these ideas is distracting me from worrying about what's next for me at my job. So it's 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 great that I can sit on this side of the the fence of wrestling and say, here's here's where AEW is going, um, and, and have that kind of influence and and hopefully influences other companies and other markets to do the same thing. Um, I don't think anyone really 
really needs to go on a hundred percent hiatus because we're shut down. Do I think we need to do shows with fans? Absolutely not. You know, safety of the fans, safety of the wrestlers. That's our main priority. Um, mm-hmm. But going, but going forward, I still think that in limited stuff, we we can still provide some kind of content in which you're going to see us film next weekend and then be released weekly for a few weeks to see. And you know, we're gonna we're gonna bring back the fight for the future concept, but it's not going to be just young talent and unknown talent. It's open to any talent. Um, you know, on the AEW roster that, hey, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to tape some matches, cut some promos, turn it into it like a mini studio show. Mm -hmm. And, and then ask, all right, fans, we're going to entertain you. Um, There's no ticket sales here. There's, you know, there's no, there's no MP. We're not asking you to buy an MP4 download for 12 bucks. We're not asking you to whatever. Here's a donation link. And it's already up on our Twitter page. It's up on the Facebook page. Um, Here's a donation link. If you're entertained by this, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever it is, um, if you're entertained by it, please help because we're going to take that money and in turn for the guys that are wrestling on the show that sacrificed a drive or whatever. Yeah, we're putting money back in their pockets for their time, and it, you know AEW is not keeping any of the proceeds from this. This is going to the talent that is that is going to help us put this together. And ultimately, the idea is all that talent, like whatever we develop on these weeklies, and whoever knows, I mean, we're going to do a couple of weeks of it. Eventually, this is all going to lead into the main shows anyway. Like what comes out of this is, you know, whatever developed talent, uh, whatever character builds, right. storylines. This will all go once we're all back to normal here. You'll see this stuff pay off, essentially, right? Right. Well, we're going to use, I mean, we've already got commitments from a handful of guys that are full time on the roster. Mm-hmm. Um, there's guys that are committed to doing this that you've seen before that you haven't seen in a while. If young guys there, you know, there's, it's going to be, it's, if there's guys on the show that are on the, on the regular roster, we're going to advance their characters and their storylines the best we can with who we have available to us. Um, you're going to see some of the younger talent that has just joined the roster and we're going to work on advancing their characters over the course of, of how we do this. I, you know, we're thinking we're going to m- maybe get three, four weeks worth of material out of this taping. Again, we don't want to have a room full of people just kind of hanging out, doing nothing. We're mm-hmm. going to try to stagger this taping. So that way everyone's safe. We're not trying to cram 50 wrestlers in the building and hang out. You know, we're trying to do this the right way. Um, but yeah, you're, you're going to see character development. You're going to see stories. You're going to see wrestling uh, to the best of AEW's ability, uh, I think in a controlled setting like this, it's going to be different to watch AEW like this compared to the packed houses everyone's used to being a part of. Yeah. Um, but it's something. And it, and, it is and something, the fo- yeah. and the, and the focus is on the talent itself, which is who this is for. So over the over the course of three or four weeks, if you if you find a guy that you haven't really connected with, but now you're connecting with them, now you want to go see him live. That's the whole point. Here's the donation link. Here, here's a link to donate money for us to pay them. Or here's their PWT store. Here's their Patreon. Or here's their whatever they're doing. On their, we're going to promote that as well. We want to make sure these guys get paid. Because otherwise sitting at home for them and doing nothing, that's no good. Keeping yeah. them busy. We want to keep them mentally and physically busy just as much as we want the fans to be mentally busy watching the watching pro wrestling during this tough time no without a doubt without a doubt and we got the material you know we got we got the content we got some ideas why not put that out there there's no hesitation to do that so i'm, I'm looking forward to that too mike i think that's going to be a lot of fun uh any other things you want to mention that we got com- coming up that you want to just maybe throw it out there i know we threw a few other things out there but you can talk about them yeah we've got i mean you guys have uh the round table coming up on friday mm-hmm. uh you'll be live streaming that on our on Twitch, Twitch AW Pro on Twitch. Mm-hmm. Um, so basically, uh, you, uh, you know, you, Keith, and Nate, along with Rob and Brian, are going to be uh, showing some of the staff picks of their favorite matches throughout the years. Uh, I th- you got Mance Warner calling in, you've got Davey Vega calling in um, to interact with the fans. So hopefully, uh, hopefully, the fans tune into that. 
Um, we're going to keep releasing stuff on YouTube. Um, you know, we just want to, we want to really, really jump the subscribers on YouTube. Um, it helps with us with ad revenue and stuff like that. Um, we really haven't focused on YouTube over the years, but this is the perfect time to really start investing in that part of our business. Um, like we talked earlier, the on demand has a one month free trial right now. When you sign up, AW family is the promo code. Yep. Uh, use it, use it. If you can, you get a free month's worth of AW plus defy plus progress plus OTT plus a bunch of other stuff on there. Um, We've got some great partners in this uh, thing right now, and we're all working to support each other. So yeah, man, it's it, it's a tough time, but we are we're doing what we can. And then, and you know, you got a young staff. You know, like I know, like Basil, we're always shooting ideas around. You, me, and Nate, Rob, we're always coming up with ideas and things. And then you know, Mike, we have our our management team that's always come up with different ideas. Like it's a constant progression of just thoughts to just be like, hey, what what can we do to either stay ahead of the curb, you know, stay modern, stay, keep people engaged with us. It, it's, and then now is, is our test. How right. do we keep people engaged? And we don't have a show uh, like the normally scheduled show. How do we keep people engaged? Exactly. And, 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 and I know people have already asked, well, after this first set of tapings, are you going to do another? And the question is, or the answer to that question is, I don't know. Again, we're taking it day by day. Um, yeah if everyone's still sitting at home and we're able to do the same thing, I don't see why we wouldn't do it, but it all, it all depends on when we can get back to normalcy. Um, when we can get, you know, it, we're again, Dave, these, every decision we've made the last few days has been made on a day by day basis, it, but it's been a hurry up and let's make a decision on something so that we're mm-hmm. not just sitting here treading water. Absolutely. Um, and, and, and as we're doing this, we're thinking about everyone involved the fans, the talent, all across the board. That, yeah. That, that we're doing something for AAW, we're doing something for the talent, we're doing something for the fans, who are also doing it for pro wrestling as a whole. Uh, the more content out there, the more new content we can get out there, it just helps everyone through this tough time. Definitely. Um, how about how about from, from the talent itself? Have you, have you seen pretty good support from everybody? I mean, obviously it's... A lot of our control, but have you have you noticed a pretty good vibe? I know, you know it's hurt. They're all hurting for something. It's, it, their schedules are all off. Their normal lives are thrown off. But have they been pretty understanding of, of what we're doing and why we had to? You know, initially we were going to go for it, we had to cancel things like that. Yeah, have they we have. Pretty good? Yeah, I mean, obviously they know it's completely out of our hands. Yeah, you know, we're not. You know, the talent knows we're not the company to cancel. We're not the company that's going to give you a hot dog and a handshake at the end of a show. You know, we're the company that when we say we do something, we're going to do it. Um, so they know that this is not, uh, you know, in our control. We're, and then, when, you know, we're coming up with alternatives to help them the best we can. Um, you know, that's why, I hope, that's why I hope people really get it, you know, get into this taping we're going to do. And the, and the only reason we're not doing a live stream out of this venue is that there really is no internet there. Um, otherwise, we were going to try to just live stream an event. But then we started thinking about it. Why give one night of content when we can break it up into four nights of content? Yeah. And, so we're definitely you know, keeping or three or four, you know, and, and then tell, tell a story, you know, almost like a s- small studio style taping. And, uh, right. and really focus on on some talents each week instead of just lumping a bunch of matches out there. And, and not that not and not that there's anything wrong with that because what the mm-hmm. other guys are doing is great. And I fully support what they're doing. Um, would you, you know, but AW being AW, we put the AW spin on it and what we think is going to work best for everybody and to put the most eyes onto the talent as a whole. Um, right or wrong? I don't know. We've never done it before. We'll see, mm-hmm. right? That's it. That's all we can do. And then we know, Mike, we also got the visual aspect, right? We got Rob there filming, and we're going to come up with film from that. We're going to come up with promos. Basil, you'll be there taking pictures. You know, we're going to, we're still going to present our quality, right? Like, that's the idea. I mean, Basil, you're going to take right. photos like it's a normal show. Like, you're going to still take ringside stuff, and we're going to get it out there. Like, this is this is a show, and we're, we're still going to give you the standard and the quality we do. And it's going to be presented with the highest quality we do with our video or our photos and everything, right? Yep. Absolutely. That's the idea. 
and 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 I, you know we should go into it with that same mindset. We go in as a crew, as a team, and we say, hey, we're gonna we're gonna do promo pictures here. We're gonna do ringside photos here. We're gonna get them out. We're gonna get results out as we normally do on our Twitter. Like we, you know, whatever it is, we we won't change our standard despite this. We we have to adjust for what we do, but we don't have to adjust who we are. Oh, absolutely. This. Well, the minute the AW logo is branded onto a project, there is a standard there. Yeah. And 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 every time there is a standard there, we try to exceed the standard to our the best of our ability. So yeah, you're going to get the content from Rob. You're going to get the three camera shoot. You're going to get the promos and the interviews and the characters and the stories, just like we normally do. It's just in a very controlled setting. Yes. So while while you guys are doing the the round table on Friday, Danny and I will actually be building the studio at, at the venue. At the oh, building. very cool. We will be at, we'll be actually there setting everything up so that way you can walk in on Saturday with minimal to do. So we, so the minute so the minute Rob gets there with camera gear, we can start filming and get this done quickly as possible so everyone can go back to their normal lives and Beautiful. whatever that is these days. Um, but everyone can go back, get home, be safe, um, and do everything they can to stay safe until we figure out what the next step is. You know, at least we'll, we'll be editing content. We'll be putting out new content. Um, that's, that's the main goal right now is just to make sure everyone's got something to distract them from what can easily take out over your mind and really mess you up. Um, the unknown that being so. Just keep moving forward the best we can. I mean, the, the crew, everyone, everyone's on board from what I've seen. Um, I've got more people offering to help in any way they can. But again, we're limiting it to the amount of people at the actual venue um, just because we don't want to do anything to harm anyone. Can you, can you guys, either one of you, can you guys remember a time when any um, – I don't want to use the word pandemic, but any like widespread issue hit the wrestling industry, causing almost like a uniform reaction from everybody like this. Not, Is that, I mean, anything not, like that? Not like this. No. I mean, I mean, we've there's been you know like like nine eleven. I wasn't really in the indie scene at that point. I was still mm-hmm. in, I was in I was in college, and I mean, I was following along online a little bit but i wasn't like where i am now so i didn't really know i don't really know how they reacted then um so yeah I, for the for the 18 so years i've been doing it now there's nothing been like nothing like this has ever happened where everyone had to go all right well we got to do this to protect pro wrestling we have yeah. to do this to get the fans through it um it, it's a totally different it's it's the unknown is where we're at absolutely and like i can't stress it enough day to day it's the only way we can move this thing forward is day by day and who knows someone someone might make a decision come next week and we might not be able to do the tapings but right now tapings we're going to do this and we're going to find a way to entertain the fans so Mm -hmm. i don't even want to speculate on beyond tomorrow all right that's fair that's that's fair enough. Yeah, no, that's that's all we can do. That's all we can do. I'm I'm trying to think back though to 9/11. I mean, Basil, you were watching more detail around then. I mean, nobody canceled shows, right? I mean, there was only one show, one company on TV at the time though. No, nobody canceled. And I think uh, WWE yeah. did SmackDown two days later. Yeah, they were right. the first one. Yeah, or they were. Right? They did, yeah, they they did it to you know make sure everyone had an outlet, had entertainment, and 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 showed that we're not afraid. You know, mm-hmm. I remember that to this day. Yeah, um, and because it was it hap- I think nine eleven did happen on a Tuesday, yeah, and that was one of the first times that SmackDown was live, as well. So yeah, I remember that just as well, Mike. So yeah, yeah I just remember you know they were you know the big the big rally from them, which which was which was good. I mean, everyone needed it. Um, but this is this is something completely different. This oh, is yeah. uh, you know this is this is not affecting just one you know a couple cities this is affecting the entire planet and yeah. uh everyone's just got to be smart be careful make sure you're getting you know the appropriate news and yes. uh, and following guidelines put out by the experts 
And, and um, on that note, we're going to we're going to we're going to take every single precaution we have, you know, and we can uh, during our our planned events, you know, the round table and, and then the, the tapings we're planning on doing. I mean, we are we're going to take every every precaution, you you know, out there to make sure that everything is on the up and up and everything's safe as, as good as it can be. And, you know, we'll proceed, with, you know, with with that in mind, you know, just the conscientiousness of everything, given where we're yeah. at. Absolutely. Absolutely, Let's, everything's going to be cleaned and scrubbed, and we're going to oh yeah, we're going to do whatever we can to do to make sure everyone's safe, and 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 bring some kind of wrestling to to the masses the best we can. And and like I've said a couple times with people interviewing me today, you know, nobody is being forced to do this. This is all on the talent. And yeah. the, if you if they didn't want to do it because they didn't feel safe, there's no. This will mess up future bookings, kid. No, that conversation is not happening. We fully understand if somebody doesn't want to participate right now. We're just trying to give an option to the talent to make some money What you know, in a very controlled setting, in a very controlled environment um, without, uh, so, without losing stuff. They need to be able to pay their bills. It sucks yes. when, you, when you have no control and you can't pay bills. I think yeah, all of us have been there at some point where there was a bill we couldn't pay because it was out of our control. Uh, and this is, this right here is to the fullest. So yeah. if we can find a way to help 20 guys and girls, however many it's, it's going to be um, great. I, th- I think it, it goes a long way. So, all right. all right. That's the plan. That's where we're at. Um, Let's recap, Mike. So, what do we got on deck? Let's just go ahead and recap it all, and then including all the on-demand stuff. Let's let's have you run it down. What's what's coming up? What do we have out there that people can just kind of mark on their calendars now? So, I, I mean, we're going to try to release something every day online, mm-hmm. whether it's probably more YouTube than anything because it's very accessible. Uh, but the promo code for AW On Demand is going to run. I think I think I've got it set to run through the middle of May right now. Okay. Um, but if if this thing keeps going, I'll just extend it. I don't. Uh, to me, I don't care. Uh, All right, so I that's want, thirty day I free want trial, right? Thirty day free trial. Yeah, with the promo code AW Family. On um, AW On Demand dot com. Yep, you can get that. Mm-hmm. So what else? So like I said, we'll be uploading more free shows and stuff onto you, our YouTube channel. Where you know, I I really just want people to subscribe to it so that way they get notified when stuff's uploaded. Um, keep you know keep doing that uh we'll be active on social media we got the round table coming up on friday which everyone can watch on twitch uh twitch.tv slash aw pro you're going to see some great matches throughout the history of aw probably get some good stories out of it you got mance warner and davy vega calling in so some of the talent will be a part of it yep um they'll be allowed to obviously plug their stuff and where you can help support them um, we do have, we do have, uh, a donation site going right now. The links are on all our social media to help donate to next Saturday's tapings for that talent. So those people that are coming in to wrestle for the entertainment, get money out of this thing to help pay their bills. Um, yep. so we'll be taping next Saturday. We're, we're hoping that literally we can turn around an episode in a couple of days. So maybe the following Wednesday or Thursday is when we put the first one up. I'm hoping if okay. everything goes according to plan, and then we'll do one, we'll do one a week until we're out of footage. And then, as like I said, as this progresses, we're gonna take it day by day. If we can do another taping, and it's feasible, I, I don't see why we wouldn't. Um, but if something does change, you know, again, if it's out of our control, we just gotta slowly move on you know and figure out the next step then yeah just gotta roll the changes i mean so the plan is for the 28th to tape and then like mike said guys uh release it that you know either the first or second maybe sometime midweek the following week and if we have four weeks of it you know that'll get us through april and if this thing does continue through april you know we're gonna have content for you on top of which we'll have the the 30-day free trials you have a month of new content a month of um a month of the vault you know you can get from awondemand.com and then the YouTube channel, you know, YouTube.com yeah. slash AW Pro. And, uh, and we, are, we are missing some older shows on AW On Demand, and we're going to work 
in this downtime and, and getting more of those older shows up as well. So Yeah, it's a good time to do it, right? <laughs> just so, get some out of yeah, it. Yeah, it takes time to rip old DVDs and stuff like that. So with the downtime, we're going to, you know, you'll start seeing some of the older, older content pop up there as well. Um, again, it's just about putting out content that people haven't seen or want to relive. Um, and then, you know, if we have to do another round table, we'll do another round table, you know, we'll, we'll, but we're going to do it smart. We're going to do it the best we can. Um, you know, the, the entire crew cares about AAW and where it's going. The, the entire crew cares about all the talent, about all the fans. Uh, and, that, and, and that's just a part of moving, moving this forward, is being able to stick together and do it as a team. And, uh, and, I, and I think we're going to be able to do that. And hopefully we make, you know, we, we grow the AAW family in the process. Yeah. And, you know, and on that note, um, the family is available, right? I mean, we're, we are all, you can reach out to us via the main Twitter, AW Pro on Twitter, or all of us individually, any questions, concerns, um, you, questions about what, you know, wait, what show was that match from? Or do you have a picture of this title win? Whatever it is, you know, you re- reach out to us. We're, we're very accessible, especially during this time. We want to be even more accessible during all this. So never yeah, hesitate I- to get, get a hold of us. I'm 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 pretty good about being online for a chunk of the day, but I don't think I've ever been on social media as much as I have been in the last <laughs> seventy two hours. Yeah. And uh, no I think I think my wife's about ready to kill me actually. <laughs> <laughs> so um but it's just, you know, answering questions and, and just having that open line of communication uh for what's next. Um and, and that's all you can do. And and that, and and I urge the other companies as well find a way to generate some kind of new content. Get now's the time to get creative. Absolutely. No no excuse. Now is there, the time we have to. You you have to get creative now to keep your brand going. And those yeah. that are being proactive about it are going to take leaps ahead of anyone that's just going to sit there and be complacent. And it's and and and, th- and th- that's okay too though because there's still a safety to what's going on. So, yeah. you know, I'm not going to look down at anyone that says I'm not doing anything until this is done, um, because that's that's not that's not the message here. But for yeah, a brand a to survive a downtime, you still need to find a way to create content and be creative. You just got to do it in a safe way. Sure, a lot of it. Uh, you're just pretty antsy. You can't sit still, right? You just got to keep doing something, though. I know you right. well enough to know that you just can't sit still. Yeah, no, I, no, I'll, no. I'll, I'll go crazy if we didn't have it. <laughs> um, you know, as, as much as I get into my highs and lows of throughout the year of wrestling and there's always the, you know, there's always something that gets me down or gets me burned out. You know, it, I'm always doing something even when I am burned out because I can't stop. It's like a freaking drug at this point, you know, and, and, uh, you just want to keep moving forward with it. You know, the AW project has been, has been a huge part of the last 15 years of my life Mm -hmm. um you know it's it's consumed a lot of time i don't want to i don't want to see any single any single thing kill it other than myself or danny (laughs) you know (laughs) we're not going to let outside factors bring it down Uh, maybe maybe a stupid decision here or there on our end but you know at the at the end of the day it we don't want outside factors affecting what AEW is and what we've done and where we think it can still go. We want to be able to do this as a, as a team and move it forward for the fans and for pro wrestling as a whole. No, no doubt. No doubt, man. And I think, uh, and Basil, you can even speak to this too. You know, as a fan, if, if a company you watch and follow uh, is, is giving you content, like here, it's, it, this all sucks. What's what we're going through, but here's, here's some stuff to keep you busy. Here's, Here's our here's the keys to our vault. You know, have 30 days free at this. Here's a bunch of photos. Here's a bunch of this. It feels good, right, as a fan to just get that and be like, hey, these guys really care. Like they they give a damn. It like I said uh, before, these type of events that we're doing and everybody else will be doing is gonna go a long way more than just the month that we're used to. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be a long term effect um, that I think will benefit everybody in the long run 
um, it just shows that we still have loyalty to the fans to deliver a product regardless of whatever restrictions are happening. Mm -hmm. And it's showing that fans come first and we're trying to help the talent out because a lot of these talent in the last year or so have gone full-time wrestling because as Mike said about five, six years ago, we had this big indie boom. Um, and now this is the, I mean, the only time I can ever think about any sort of quote unquote pandemic when it comes to talent, um, which pales in comparison is usually when there's like the new wrap of WWE signings or how we had AEW take up a bunch of talent from the indies and, it pales in comparison to what we're dealing with right now because we have talent that want to work but don't feel safe working. Uh, we have talent that want to work but don't have a place to work. So it's just trying to find that happy medium for everyone to deliver what we do best, and that's entertaining. Yeah, absolutely. Well, cool, man. Mike, we appreciate you being on, man. Bows, do you have any other questions for Mike that uh, mm. we didn't get to at all? No, I think everything was covered. Um, it's like you said, we're going day by day. So every day there's yeah. something new that we're all going about this. Um, nobody has all the answers because as Roddy likes to say, the questions keep changing. So every day there's something new that we find out or a new rule that's in, instilled. I mean, who knows, like Mike said, if this is going to even happen still because – any sort of public gathering of any amount of people might be completely taken out. So we don't know. We'll just take it day by day, man. So yeah, Mike, I mean, we're in communication all day long. So, you know, we'll, uh, and then we always get it to the fans immediately right after. So yeah, ab absolutely. And, and you know, we're not, we're not trying to make any rash decisions here. We're just trying to go, you know, we're trying to interpret what everyone wants us to do our own way. Um, we're trying to do it safely. We're trying to do it, you know, we're trying to do it for the fans in the name of pro wrestling is probably the best way to say it. Right. For the, yeah. Um, it's, it's, um, it, it sucks if uh, pro wrestling goes dark for the time being. And, and, and I don't want that. I don't want that as a fan myself. Um, Absolutely. You know, None at, of us do. At, at, at the end of the, at the end of the day, um, you're not going to find any two bigger fans of pro wrestling than me and Danny. And uh, and we don't want it to stop. No doubt, man. No doubt. Well, yeah, dude, that, thank you very much for joining us, man. We appreciate you coming on, giving the uh, giving the word and all this stuff and just, just letting us know what the state of the affairs are and, and you know where we're at with things. And, you know, hey, listen, it's, it's, it's just a way for us, more ways for us to connect everybody. You know, we do this podcast, uh, usually Basil and I or, or Nate is on with us sometimes. And, you know, we just talk about, current stuff but this is something that's very widespread and now this is coming from you know the business end of things this is like hey this is real this is what's actually what we're doing and this is what we're doing to stay ahead of it and we want the fans to know that we are we're part of them this is aw family everybody we are aw family we want them to know hey the family's here and we're talking to you we're keeping you on the up and we're, we're doing what whatever we can to make sure this uh this is this whole hard time is doesn't have to be any harder than it is. Absolutely. It it can't be, it needs to, it needs to be as painless as possible. You know, Absolutely. let's just get through it. Let's uh, join together as pro wrestling as, as a community, as a whole, um, everyone, everyone does do your part and do what you can do to help. You know, we, I, there's only so many spots on a show. I say it all the time. You can only book so much talent. If Danny could book everybody, he would. Um, but you, everyone knows that's not realistic. And in, in no. this time, and, and during this time, you know, we'd love to be able to put every single pro wrestler on a on a taping on a Saturday, and and have a million matches. But that's not feasible either. Um, so sure. we need we need the others to do their part as well, and find a way. Find you know, find a way to make something happen. Um, no, and it seems happen. like every and it seems like everyone is putting their best foot forward. And doing something to make sure some, you know, the fans stay entertained, the guys get paid. Um, I think I think uh, you can say a lot about the Chicago scene right now because there's four. I see four companies doing something to be proactive about it, and uh, and it, and it's great to see. And uh, I, I don't I can't say enough about everyone that's doing something. Good work, boys. 
Absolutely. Let's Thank keep, you, man. Let's keep, let's keep going. We got it. All right, Mike, you want to get a couple of plugs in your work? Can people follow the company? Just kind of go over it one more time, just concise at the end here. Uh, all social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube at AAW Pro, uh, twitch.tv slash AAW Pro, AAWondemand.com, free 30 day trial with the promo code AAW Family. What yeah. else do we got? Website AAWPro.com. Um, yeah. I think it's a LinkedIn. We're on LinkedIn too, Mike. A- that's right. <laughs> that's, that's your, that's your, that's your deal. <laughs> AW Pro on LinkedIn also, guys, join that. There's a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of the, the more of the corporate statements go out there. Some of the, the movies, you know, Rob stuff is up there as well. But just, you know, follow us. That's it's more of a corporate page we're trying to do. So uh, check us out on LinkedIn as well. I think that's all of it. Uh, Basil, did I miss anything? No. That's cool, I mean, man. I'm just jealous that they have an Instagram. Two. <laughs> AW. Do we have an Instagram? <laughs> that they have an Instagram. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. <laughs> well, here's the, I got I to put this out there. Mike, I know this is, an, this is a serious episode, but this is fun. I got to address this because whoever did this is listening to this show. We have a running gag on the show, Mike, about how we our Instagram for this show is coming next week. Oh, it's we're, always we're, next week. We're breaking the fourth wall. I know. It's always, hey, you know, what's <laughs> that Instagram? Next week we'll be set up. Well, somebody, I, we don't know who it is, took it upon themselves to set up an Instagram for us and then had the nerve to follow us from it, but then doesn't <laughs> have the nerve, but doesn't have the nerve to respond to the messages telling us like, hey, it's me. I went ahead and did it. Here's your password. So there's a, there's a Backstage Voice podcast Instagram that we don't even control. I, 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 I wake up. I, I hope they follow you and unfollow you. <laughs> like once a week i hope they delete it and pop it up again bit, like man. dangle that carrot out in front of you oh. hey trent you got time for that you got the aw twitter or instagram account to handle you don't got time for you know I, you don't got time for that i, I don't have time for these it's games. just been it's been a running joke with it like <laughs> and then the thing is so trent messages me in the morning he goes uh did you really do this and i go no, I thought you did this, and then I had to throw out. I had to throw out the most holy Arabic word to tell him I wasn't bullshitting on this, and, uh, and then we were both thoroughly confused. And there has One been no. Post. Did anyone? Did anyone ever blame Nate? We, I think. Ooh. I think. Oh wait, we never did blame. We Nate. never did, did blame. Did, you, Nate. did anyone ever blame Nate? Because there's another. There's a guy here that's missing, right? Ooh. The bitch, dude. If it's Nate, if he heel turned on us, man, this is unforgivable. <laughs> see, see, you didn't even think about it until you. This had is why we keep show. you around, Mike. You're the thinking man. Yeah, you know what's right. funny? We, we we questioned Rob before we even blame Nate. <laughs> that's the, that's the funniest part. <laughs> then I'm gonna really laugh when it's actually Brian. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> well, whoever it is doesn't have the nerve or, to respond to the messages. Or was it Boone? Jesus. See, and this is, now, this is higher now, power you're stuff. You're going to go down the right. wormhole. Oh, my you know, God. You're going to go right down the wormhole. Who attacked, who, who, who attacked Stone Cold? This is this is the levels that we're getting at right now. <laughs> I, I just, I'm putting it out there. If you are the one who set it up, can you at least read the message that we sent on the account? Please. <laughs> please read it. <laughs> just tell well, us who We can the... narrow it down from there. Or just give us the password and call it. Or, a day. or why don't you just create your own and then you have to, then you guys own it and then you can say no, that's a fake account and get it taken down. That's a good idea. We might have to. Yeah, it was, we might, it was we might have to go. We might have to go with that. See, <laughs> come on, guys. We appreciate. It. Oh, that's do, that's. Do that's I gotta, way do I gotta run your back for you guys that's too? All. Come on now. It was just our, <laughs> it was our gimmick, and we and we were consistent with that for over sixty episodes. It wasn't like a one time thing we started. So Man, so dude. so now that I come on, I'm going to ruin it for you, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean you and your logic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, that's a Basil. Get your plugs in real quick, and then I'll get mine, and we'll get out of here. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at bz. That's a b two e's four z's and a y. All my photos are at basilmahmood.com. Um, I I might have to actually make a legit Instagram, which is ugh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you for ruining our gimmick whoever you are and uh trent where could they find you you guys can follow me at vanilla joke on instagram and twitter i will be changing that to now during quarantine time i think it's time to change that to my name 
I've had that vanilla joke name for 20 years. I think it's just time to change it to things. Boys so, up. huh? Our boys growing up. I'm finally growing up. I was always worried about the t- breaking tag, things like that. I'm like, the hell with it. Uh, so I'll be changing. But in the meantime, vanilla joke, Instagram, and Twitter. But you can also follow the show at the BSB show on Facebook and Twitter. Not Instagram yet. That Instagram is fake. We'll be getting a new one, I guess, now that the gimmick is dead. Uh, remember, guys, you can also follow the show wherever podcasts are found. Apple, iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, iHeartRadio, TuneIn Radio, Spotify, and YouTube. Rate, review, subscribe. Tell everybody. Share this around. You know, Let them know what we're talking about here. It's the We couldn't get any more backstage than this one. This is probably the most backstage we've ever been on the Backstage Boys. So, uh, Mike, I want to thank you again for joining us, man. That was really awesome for uh, coming on being all being very candid about things. So thank you again for that. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for uh, giving us the outlet to talk about this because uh... – not enough people are, and they and they need to. Yeah, and we'll we'll keep up to date. We're gonna we'll do more. I mean, we're gonna be stuck inside for a bit, so we'll be more episodes coming. Maybe maybe Basil might even double up a couple of weeks, man. We'll yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, we got the time. <laughs> we got the time. Maybe we'll do something fun. But uh, all right, guys, thank you for joining us. We'll be back soon. We'll just keep keep checking back on the BSB show on Twitter. We'll let you know when we're gonna record again and get something out. But uh, thank you all for joining us. We'll talk to you next time. Say goodbye, Basil. Bye. Later.